You are all highly welcome to Elisha Mamkide Ministries International. In this season, I have been commissioned to empower women in various areas of their lives to help them attain their great potentials and for us to address issues that concerns our personal lives, our family, our community, and our nation, nations of the world. We are addressing various issues that are afflicting, besieging, limiting, holding down, holding back women from attaining their potentials in the areas that God has called them, that are limiting them. That is why we're on this platform. We have been commissioned to help bring healing and deliverance to family, to communities, and to nations. So today, we are addressing women with troubled children and afflicted children, e.g. drug addiction, sexual immorality, homosexuality, lesbianism, incestuous problems in the family, psychological mental issues from molestations of any kind, like rape, family rape. You know, a lot of things are happening in the family. The people need healing. They don't know who to cry out to. They don't know who to call. That is why we are here. But I'm going to go ahead and introduce my guest for the day. Then I will break this down a little bit and we'll kickstart this prayer meeting. Pastor Ominka Buapo is a dynamic, multi-talented woman of God. An author, a songwriter, international conference speaker, preacher, and teacher of God's word. By the grace of God, she's the founder, president of the Great Woman Ministries and all the denominational women outreach ministry, mandated to raise women of purpose and destiny. She also holds a quarterly seminar, The Great Woman, and she co-pastors with her husband, Reverend David Buhafu, the senior pastor, pastor of God's Heritage Church. She is happily married and blessed with children. Hallelujah. Welcome, my dear sister. She's my sister. She's my friend. She's my prayer partner. <laughs> Even we, we work. Romans 8.21 says, Because the creation itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. You know, people look at the category of these people, and it breaks my heart. Maybe because my calling and the great, great grace upon my life is more of evangelism. Um, and I'm, I'm an apostle evangel evangelist. I'm a called evangelist. So when people talk about people that are homosexuals, people that are, you know, have been affected with uh, lesbianism, people that are even satanists or drug addicts, and the people that should help them, which is us, the church that carries the light. They're like, hey, God has uh, condemned them. Here in the scripture, their act is an abomination. Their act is a grave sin unto God. But redemption has come for all mankind through Jesus. Ted by a spirit of corruption, which is what I've just read in that scripture. They are, been, they, are, they, are, they are creatures of God. But the Bible says, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption, their life was corrupted by Satan. And God is willing to deliver them. He said they shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Hallelujah. God is interested to set the drug addict free. God is interested to set the homosexuals free. God is interested to set the people in the act of lesbian, this, uh, lesbianism free. God is interested to set free families that are, in, are, 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 are involved in, in sexual relationship. The corruption has come into their life. Their life has been corrupted by the enemy. So we are supposed to stand in the gap to make sure that we root out that evil affliction of the enemy. Drug addiction, sexual immorality, even rape within the household, rape within the family. We cannot throw them what away. What is our job? 
What are we here for? And it's as if, oh, they are, they, they, are, they are doing, they are legislating that. If they are legislating that, our duty is to go and uproot what they are legislating. Can I hear an amen? Our amen. duty is to make sure we fish out or we start praying or we address the root of what they are legislating. They are doing the assignment and we have to do our own. We cannot run away from sinners. We have been called to save sinners. And that is what we are here for today. And um, uh, let me just read one more scripture, then I will ask my guests to take over and we kick start. Jeremiah 17, 14 also says, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my prince. <clears throat> Save me, and I shall be saved. If we do not stand in the gap for these ones to be saved, who will help them? We will all be amazed that almost every home right now is afflicted with one of these issues that I'm talking about. A lot of children, without parents knowing, those children have become witches and wizards through the hands of house elves. They have become witches and wizards. They have been taken into the marine kingdom. They have, they have indulged siblings to be having sex with themselves. House help has come in, as, as God is, you know, using us to go and deliver people, Satan too is sending his agent to corrupt people. House help has right. come into family because of rat race, what will we eat, everybody's busy working, of course, we have to work. But when we leave our children, our family, to those people, they have been good. Praise God. Well done. Well okay, done, God. woman of God. Take the prayer. We really, really thank, thank God. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hallelujah. Can you hear me? Hello? I can hear you, but it's going up and on. But go on. It's going up yes, and on. Yes, I'm, I'm not. I can hear you. No matter what happens, we're not stopping. I'll just go ahead. We are not going to give attention to no, any message. Just keep going. Yes. 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 Thank you so very much. First of all, I give God all the glory and I want to thank God for your life. I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity, you know, to come on this platform, um, the platform of redemption and um, renewal and um, the new thing that the Lord is doing in the lives of women and families. Because if God touches a woman, he has touched a family or touched families and the whole world. I said about what God is doing. Yeah, across the nation. I mean, yes. This is, yes. yeah, the nation, yes. the entire world. This is the third yes. day of Jesus. Amen. We are giving a full intro into um, today's discussion and prayer. We're looking yes. at the areas of women facing different challenges with their children. Yeah. You know, situation that some of them cannot even talk about situations that right. is making them you know bow down on the inside they yes. can put up a smile but they are really uh -huh. going through very terrible period and yes. um of course we know that the enemy is behind all of this but yeah. deliverance is assured today even mm -hmm. as we share and we pray in the name of jesus again Amen. woman of god apostle thank you so very much so, my dear women, I'm sure that we are all on, whether you are listening, I mean, you are on live or you're going to listen to this much later, I want you to know that as you open your heart, the Lord is going yes. to reach out to you, reach out to your child or your word. It might not be Amen. your biological child, you might be in yes. charge of a problematic child. I mean, you are in charge of a problematic child and your heart is reaching out as a mother. As long as you have a womb, you are a mother. Yeah. Amen. Yes. God will bring deliverance to those children or that child Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 But, um, I like to kick up. Yeah, I want to kick up with some scriptures. But to add up to the yeah. issue of, um, you know, to a topic that we're looking at, apart from the um, sexual abuses and all the... Um, drug addiction or all kind of vices. There's also an aspect that is causing young people. And you see this, this 
um, demonic attacks actually grow up with mm. them. And that is the area yeah. of identity crisis. How mm. do I mean? You know, a lot of them enter depression. I mean, I'm talking about societal problem, environmental problem. Suicide. Where they yeah. are under yeah. pressure. Yes, yes, yes. Under pressure to meet up. They yeah. are under pressure to perform. Yeah. They are under pressure, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. to just make things happen. They are looking at all the people. And they felt mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm not meeting up. Then something is wrong with me. So that wants to make them take a mm -hmm. negative step. And many of them have taken such steps and mm -hmm. have entered permanent trouble. But you see, with God, nothing is impossible. Mm -hmm. God is bringing such children out of that yes. depression, out of that situation. And they're going Amen. to be established in their God-given identity. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And so, Heavenly Father, we want to thank you again. We give you praise, O oh Lord, because we know yes. that you are in charge. We are asking that your yes. spirit, Almighty God, will clear the atmosphere. We give us utterance. Your spirit will reach out, bringing healing, bringing restoration, even to women who are bowed down, who are hurting, who are in pain, yes. who are facing a challenge because of the condition of the children. Yes. Lord, you are going to restore yes. peace in that home, in that family, Amen. in the life of that child, Amen. and equal peace Amen. in the life of that woman Amen. today. Amen. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 So very quickly, I want to just read um, a scripture, you know, uh, take off points. From the book of Isaiah, both scriptures are from the book of Isaiah. We're looking at um, God's promise concerning, I mean, our expectation according to God's word concerning our children. And the first um, reference is in the book of Isaiah chapter 8. And I'm reading um, Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 18. These are you know, um, popular verse of scriptures, but I want us to look at it again. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 8. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody have my, uh, maybe I'll pull up that scripture online. Pull it up for us. Yes, Isaiah chapter 8, and I'm reading verse 18. He says, Here am I, and the children whom the Lord has given me, things and wonders in Israel, yeah. from the Lord of hosts who Lord dwell Lord. in Mount Zion. Hallelujah. Did you get that? Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18, the first scripture I just read, that... I and the children whom the Lord has given me, whether they are your biological children or they are, your ch uh, they are people you watch over or in your care. The yes. Bible says, we are for signs and wonders yeah. in Israel from the Lord of hosts who dwell in Mount Zion. Amen. Very quickly, I move on to the next scripture Amen. in Isaiah chapter 54. See, talking about the promise promises of God for our children. Isaiah chapter 54 and um, verse 13 says, all your children shall be taught by the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. Hallelujah. Isaiah all eight, your children eight, eight. shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. So we are thanking God for restoration of peace. Net in the lives of our children, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke network failure in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. We rebuke it, but we are not stopping. Hallelujah! I can hear you very well, woman of God. So, God has promised what? Peace. God has promised peace for our children, but maybe right now, what you are experiencing with your child or children. Is not in accordance to this scripture, and you are so worried. And many of us, as mother, we are blaming Network, ourselves. Network, we, we, I mean, that we, we have faced every spirit of the power of the air that is trying to hinder the flow of this program right now. 
I declare this the name network of Jesus. To I can hear you. I can hear you. I can see you. I can hear you. And we are going on. Hallelujah. And we are going on. The Bible says that great did with the Nigerian. Yes. No stopping us. That great shall be the peace of our children. When our children are operating under the that's right. When they are operating under the anointing of God's peace, then we ourselves, yes. we are at peace. We are peace. So, and of but course, we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Satan yes. is, you know, on a rampage, is out to kill, to steal, to destroy, is out there attacking mm. young people. Even some, mm. he attacks them from the womb, harassing yes. their lives. Yes, but God yes. is bringing about restoration. That's Amen. something here on this platform. Redemptive prayer. Bringing back to the original intention of God for our lives, our families, our children, the nation yes. as a whole. Hallelujah. 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 Well, we all know that the redemptive um, price had already been paid by Lord Jesus Christ, by his death and resurrection. So, yes. How do we now bring to reality this yeah. redemptive package in the lives of our yeah. children, in the yes, lives of the troubled time. children? Many of mm -hmm. them, like the apostles who gave an introduction, have been given out totally, you know, to sexual abuse, mental mm. abuse. Some of them are out there among their peers and they have been told that you can't amount to anything, even by house helps. Those that we pay, they yes. come in, take our money yes. Yes. to torment, to we hear also afflict, to yes. harass our children. But God is yanking them off the hands of these tormentors in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. God is restoring these children. That every Thank home, you. that oh Lord God, there has been planting of the enemy against the children to corrupt them, to abuse their lives, to abuse their lives, to abuse to bring them to the world. In the name of Jesus. We call as women. We stand in the gap for such homes. We uproot every planting of the enemy. In the home. In the home of every woman. Under the sound of our voice. That is experienced. That we are all mentioned here. In the name of Jesus. We separate the lives of those children. We separate the lives of those children. We separate the lives of those children. That we decree that this psychological in the name of spirit of suicide has gone into the children by the reason of corruption coming through us F or family members today by the power of the Holy Ghost we stand in the gap for the lives of the families for the lives of first children in the name of over the life of our children, as many women that 
We stand in the gap. Our Lord is saying, "Makando skadi lelo." My Lord, we come as women. We stand in the gap. We ask for an opportunity of such planting of the enemy. We ask, O Lord God, that the lives of our children and the lives of our family, O Lord, can be separated from that darkness. The way God separated man from the darkness, we call that light. We enter that situation. We enter that family, that corrupt seed, the uprooted in their lives, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I tell you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Hallelujah. How do we now, as a mother or as a carer, whatever it may be, but you are a woman and you are there over, I mean, in charge of a problematic child, instead of getting worried, the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, that we should come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain. So it's not for us to complain. We are, we're still praying, but it's important for us to just, you know, um, um, to give this charge, this exhortation, so that we can channel our prayers yes. effectively and positively. We are not to complain. As a mother, you are not to run everywhere. You are not to attack your child. If you find any, I mean, if your, yes. your child happens to be in any of this category, you are noticing or observing mm -hmm. something strange, something contrary to the will of God in the life of your child. First of all, don't blame yourself, okay? And don't judge that child. Are you with me? Yes. Because yes. tendency is well, for us well. as parents, especially as mothers, to begin to just lash out on ourselves and feel so frustrated because that we have failed, I'm not doing enough, uh, is something that I have done, is this and that and that. Yeah, we are not saying those cannot be um, um, responsible for the situation, but to get to the solution, you must free yourself from any from form of blame. Yeah. So that you can operate in faith, because the Bible says that whatever is not of faith is sin. So we yes. go to obtain this redemptive package on behalf of our yes. children so that they yeah. can enjoy the fullness of God in their lives mm -hmm. and fulfill their destiny mm -hmm. and we too we can mm -hmm. have peace in the name yeah. of Jesus. Oh, so Jesus. how do we obtain? Number one, by what we are doing and keeping bended knees. Many of us yes. as mother, we are very busy, very busy to mm. pray. We run all over the place. We play all around, and that is the devil's assignment. If we so put it mm -hmm. together that you have time for everything, but not prayer. Mm -hmm. So you need to change that order. And thank mm -hmm. God that we have the gift of the Holy Spirit, so you can pray anyhow, any place. You know, you can pray in yes. tongues, you can come in with the Spirit of God Mahmoud on behalf of your child Mahmoud to bring Mahmoud about Mahmoud a Mahmoud change. Mahmoud so Mahmoud the place of prayer is key. Yes. And number two, you must relate with that child in love. Yes. Love is a force. God himself is love. God does not have love. God is love. So you must, God and to operate love. in love, you need an understanding of God's word. You have to be yes. patient. You must, because to bring out that child from that situation is not by attacking them. Sometimes some of them don't even know what they are doing because another spirit are taking mm -hmm. over. But greater than that is a force and the spirit yes. of love. And we mm -hmm. need to exhibit that. We need to be patient. Yes. 
even in the midst of our frustration, we need to operate yeah. in love. We need to be patient with our children. And then finally, the place of faith. In the, I'm going to take two references regarding this. We must come to that place where we um, release those children unto God. And you back up. You remember the story of the um, um, two prostitutes in First mm. Kings chapter 3, talking about Solomon, yes. when God gave him wisdom, when his wisdom was going to be tested. Uh -huh. The first judgment that he yes. gave, when those two prostitutes came and they once slept on the child, the child died, and they exchanged the child. You know, you can check the reference in yeah. First Kings chapter 3, verse 6, um, 16 to 26. We and Solomon's judgment... Okay. okay, and then okay. no, no problem, no problem. I need to say this. Mm -hmm. Then the the, yes. the, okay, the cool. woman yeah. whose child was alive, when she saw mm. that this was the verdict, and there's nothing that she can do about it, she released that child. Yeah. She said, "Please don't cut yeah. my cut the child, the living child. Let the child live." Hello, that's the hard cry of a okay. of a genuine mother. So when you get oh, to that place, in as yes. much yes, in as much as you want your child to be all right, you know that it's not in your hand, it's not in your power completely. So you hand over that child to God. Yeah. It doesn't matter the contrary yes. things you're seeing. Just stay there. Yeah. And remember the story yeah. of a uh, Moses. The Bible says that Moses was born in a uh, um um the troubles troublesome period. When there was a verdict for mm -hmm. all male children, that was when Moses was born. The Bible says that in Exodus chapter 2 from verses 1, 2 to 3 that when the mother could no longer hide him, she built an mm -hmm. ark, which is um, a sort of so God's presence, in the place of and she allowed the child to flow. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So we must come mm -hmm. to the place where we let go and let God. So we're going to that have to is the beginning the of their redemption. Time. Let us raise the prayer point. That's uh -huh. right. Because of time, where we, have we to let go point. and let go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So what is our prayer point now? Uh -huh. That children yeah. are ours in the hands of the Lord. So we are praying that these our children they will not be misdirected arrows in the hands of the enemy. That Satan will not use them. One child to go with. Zagabonde ya Yes, yes, yes. You are a mother with a problematic child. Call that child by name right now. And decree and declare that my child, my son, my daughter will not be a misdirected arrow. In the name of Jesus. You pray as a woman. My child will not be a misdirected arrow in the hands of the enemy. My right. child, your child, will not be a Couples, misdirected brother. arrow in the hands my child, of the enemy. My child, in the will name not of be Jesus, the enemy will not be in the hands of our children's destiny. In the name they will of not Jesus, they will not be their own destiny to begin to move the life of his own agenda. The agenda 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 of in the name of Jesus. Spirit, Amen. That children will be yes. Holy Spirit driven. They will be influenced by mm. the Holy Spirit. Our children will be Holy Spirit, Spirit driven. Mm. That's right. Mm. Father, in mm. the name of yeah. Jesus, because that we is pray the Spirit that can help them. Makali, that's right. Zagabre, our children. 
for any child that is born, we pray for them as a human being, and the spirit of mother here, only the mother that is in tears, that is a covenant children, that is in sorrow, there will be Holy Spirit driven. Oh, there will be influenced by the spirit of the living God. They will not yield to the voice of strangers. In the name of Jesus, they will not serve strange altars. Our children will not serve strange altars. They will not be slain on Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. And finally, we take this prayer for you. In Luke chapter 2, verse 52. The Bible says mm. that Jesus increased in wisdom, okay. stature, in favor with God and all men. So we are enforcing this in the place yes. of prayer that this will be the portion of our children. They will increase in wisdom, not in the wisdom yes. of the world, but in the wisdom of the kingdom, in the wisdom of the Lord. In the way of the Lord, they will increase in wisdom. They will increase in favor. In stature, in favor with God and all men, in wisdom, in the knowledge of God, they will not be drowned in the in the activities of the world. Yes, to get brandy, yam marabosh, candele, zuragiri, abosh, all that they will all carry out wisdom. But the Lord of Jesus, oh Lord, they will take back our children. The wisdom of the kingdom, the Lord of Jesus, Zuka brand again the brand they are marabos kandi, Zuka brand that they are placed in destiny shall be fulfilled, shall be established. In the name of Jesus, oh my marabos kandi, every form of darkness around them. We, we command you to be illuminated by God's wisdom. In the name of the kingdom. To increase, oh Lord God, in knowledge. Knowledge and understanding of who you have yes. called them to be or created them to be. That's right. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. So we are thanking God. Yes. Knowing that our children fulfill destiny, they are covenant children. Yes, Satan will not have any hold on them, and whatever Amen. harassment or attack on their lives, yes, is broken right now. They are liberated yes. by the power yes. that's in the blood of Jesus. They Amen. are free, they are set yes. free in the name Mama, of Jesus. Amen. They Amen. will not serve strange altars. They will, they will not serve strange altars. Our in children the name will not serve strange altars. They will in not serve strange altars. In the mighty mm. name of Jesus. Amen. They will embrace the way of the Lord. They will embrace the way of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we worship Amen. you. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We release them unto you, Almighty God. We thank you, Lord, for bringing healing in the lives of these problematic children and giving peace to their mothers, to their homes, their families. In the name of Jesus, that these children will fulfill destiny. That the yes. purpose of God for their life shall be realized. Yes. They will not be wasted. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we give you praise. We just bless you. Life you are a faithful God. God. This children's destiny will not be wasted. Our children's life will not be wasted. Our children's destiny will not be wasted. They will not be wasted. And we will not bury our children. In the name of Jesus, we will not bury our children. Our children will not die in iniquity. In the name of in Jesus. Makalira. They will know the way of the Lord. They will embrace the way of the Lord. They will have the fear of the Lord. They are walking in the fear of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this time of prayer. Thank you, Father. We give you the praise. We are asking you, give you praise. In the name of Jesus, that any mother, any woman that's under the sound of our voice, that Lord, you will be comforted right now. 
Mother, don't give up. Your prayers have been answered. God is doing a good work in the life of this child. You will joy over this child. No, we have joy over our children. Lesbianism, every form of vices that the enemy has brought upon their life. The fruit of the womb. He said the fruit of the womb is his reward. He looked at mankind that the created. He said we are good. And the enemy came in with all sorts of corruption. So today we are agreeing with any mother out there, with any household that is that is experiencing corruption upon the lives of their children, that is experiencing affliction upon the lives of their children. Every planting of the enemy, every thirst that Satan has come to sow in the lives of any child that the mother is presently crying, that the mother is presently grieving, that the mother is presently in sorrow, in agony, in confusion, not know and they don't know who to call or who to, and they are too ashamed to even tell people, this is what is happening under my roof, this is what is happening to my children. God, what nobody knows, you know. Even the ones that they do not know, Father Lord, you know. Yes. We are asking you yes. right now, in the name of Jesus, yeah, that bring the community to a close. Makalida Bokoshanda Lidada. Holy Spirit, that you dispatch angels right now. Oh, Makalida Bokoshanda Lidada Bosa. The Son of Righteousness shall arrive. We ask you to enter all such households that are crying out for you for help. We are interceding for women. We are interceding for mothers. That yeah, I am because if that man, foundation is not corrected, oh Lord God, the foundation will affect the community. Those yeah, students that yeah, come from the Amro class, they will be the ones that will come that will that will set down with direct their destiny, and they will be affecting the nation. So we are standing right now by the power of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. You send, you dispatch angels to enter homes, to enter families, as many of them that are crying. Out and they do not know what to do about their troubled children. That your fruits, the corruption that the enemy has brought into their lives, you uproot the corruption that the enemy has brought into their lives, and you save our children. Because the word says, we fight against those that fight against us, we contend against those that contend against us, and you will save our children. Father Lord, we are asking you. To contend against every enemy of our soul, every enemy of our soul, every household battle that is contending against them, and that is our mission. Today we stop all the wrong ones as ministers, as women, as ministers, as prophets, 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 as for this reason, the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy all of the enemy, destroy the strength of the enemy in every household that is under the sound of our voice at this hour. Whatever is happening to their in their household under their roof concerning the lives of their children that they cannot even voice out, we ask healing and penetration We ask deliverance to be established in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. We call for healing, we call for deliverance. Evil children that have been molested that are going through psychological problems, yeah, that are in their minds. Oh, emotional healing. Oh, mental healing. In the name of Jesus. Oh, 
we address that spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost, every spirit of suicide. We address that spirit, we stop that spirit in its tract. We add that spirit be led away in everlasting chain in darkness in the name of Jesus. And we ask that that life be set free. The spirit of corruption that has come upon any household and any family. Makalida boko shandali rebo shandi. Ziga branda yamara bo shandi. Led away from captivity, even until the great judgment day. In the name of Jesus, chain up, never to come that family again. In Jesus' name, we ask that you bring such family onto the saving knowledge, onto the saving grace of our Lord Jesus. Yamara bo shandi. It is branda yamara bo shandi. Yes, we are in. In the name of Jesus. We are standing in repentance and forgiveness for the sins of such household that gave an opening yes, to such affliction. Father Lord, we yes, use the Lord, blood of mercy. Jesus. We use it to stand in the gap mercy. and we yeah, ask, God, oh God, God, that forgiveness mercy. comes. We ask, oh God, Let that mercy, mercy comes. Come. We ask, oh God, yes. that the blood of Jesus Kabo can speak a better thing more Kabo than the blood of Abel would be to speak redemption on the first family from the foundation of their life. In the name of Jesus, every corruption that has held them captive, every corruption that has come into their lives, even into the previous life, from the world, 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 let life come into the house. Let life come into the house. Let them 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 as as short as it is, as short as it is, we know that your power has descended upon these prayers, and a lot of people will be set free by the reason of this broadcast. In the name of Jesus, precious Father, we want to thank you. We thank give you, you praise you. because before we called, you have answered. While we're just speaking to you, we know that you have heard us. Lord, thank you for your peace in every troubled home right now. Thank you, yes. oh Lord, for the grace that you give to every troubled mother right now. Thank you, Father, Amen. for your redemptive yes. package that is being made real in every home. We worship Amen. you, Lord, Amen. because you, are, you have done that which you alone can do. Take all the praise and all the glory. Let joy be restored, oh Lord. Thank you for a new Amen. level, a new direction in the life of Amen. that challenging challenge child in the name of Amen. May healing take place emotionally Amen. physically mentally Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. we worship you Amen. thank you father in Amen. Jesus' name. Thank you, bless Amen. Amen. So, we give of God, praise. thank you so very yes. much. I'm just so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm you looking forward to the last today. segment of this prayer. Yes, so tonight will be us tonight. Father, we just we seal yeah. these prayer points with the blood of Jesus yes. and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. We seal right. the blessings. The enemy will not be able to seal it or destroy yes, it. Lord. We cover it, O oh God. We thank In you the name for it is settled. Thank you. I love you, my sister. Thank you so very much. Thank you.